everyone, it's Marie and welcome to a vlog video. So I haven't actually vlogged in probably like two weeks, so I thought I'd do a vlog. I actually haven't done much YouTube in quite a while. I've been super busy picking kiwis, the season has started full on now, so it's been really long days and I've been teaching a lot too. A lot of the time now I pick kiwis during the day till about 6pm, then I teach from like 7.30pm till... 11 o'clock at night, so I've been having long days of work recently, trying to save up extra money because I need a new phone, because my phone is broken, and <laughs> I mean it kind of works, but all the apps have stopped working on it, so yeah, so, um, <laughs> so I'm having to buy a new phone, and also I just want extra money for travel after Kiwi season, so I've been working a lot, so I haven't had a chance to film or do much, but I thought I'd film today because it's the weekend, it's, I had yesterday and today off, yesterday was like the laziest day I've had in a long time, I did literally nothing and it was amazing, <laughs> but today is Sunday and really today should be my lazy day, but I'm going to get stuff done and be productive today because I feel so bad about my really lazy day yesterday. So yeah, it's um, just gone 8am, I woke up about 7am and I've been just on my computer just chilling out this morning. And yeah, I've got a really good day planned, I plan to get tons of YouTube stuff done because like I said, I haven't done much YouTube in a while. I was really on it, I pre-scheduled and pre-filmed tons and tons of videos uh, over the last month and I have had two videos a week for like six weeks which I'm so proud of but um, yeah I now got to the stage where I don't have any pre-uploads left and I really need to keep up with the schedule so today I'm going to pre-film and edit and pre-upload like three or four videos make sure I get them smashed out and you know get all that done I also want to write some blog posts for my website so that's pretty much how my day is going right now I'm just having my breakfast so this is my breakfast um, so all I've got here is I don't know if you can see it but I've got some gluten-free cornflakes and I got these from I think I'll link the blog, I'll link the blog, I'll link the video that up here. I went to a shop and there was a closing down sale and I got like three huge big bags of cornflakes for like $2 each. So I've got gluten free cornflakes with some buckwheat puffs some and some ground linseed and some almond milk. So yeah, that's my breakfast this morning and I'll see you in a bit. So I just filmed uh, three sit down videos for my channel, so productive. I've got another basket of laundry to do. As you can tell, Sundays are my laundry days. <laughs> so I'm gonna hang out some more laundry now, and then I'm gonna go in and edit. So let's hang out laundry. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, so it's now actually 1 p.m. I'm gonna be honest, regrettably, I've had a pretty lazy morning. I haven't gotten much achieved. I have just been out and I've filmed three videos, so I'm gonna be editing them this afternoon. And yeah, so I've just filmed three videos, which didn't take me very long, and the rest of the morning I literally just procrastinated and was pretty lazy. But it's okay because uh, it's a Sunday, and you know what? I'm gonna be working a lot this week. <laughs> so I've got a, a checklist of things I want to achieve today. Um, so I'm hoping that I can achieve every single thing on this list and have it all ticked off. So I'm going to have a very productive afternoon slash evening. So yeah, I'm just in the process of, in the process, I'm just in the middle of my lunch basically. Um, so I just made my lunch. So I've got, oh, I'll show you quickly. Probably a pretty random lunch, but I've just got some peanut butter. This is like a gluten-free bread. I think it's a linseed, soy and linseed bread. And um, yeah, I've just got some blueberries on there with peanut butter and some kiwis, some apple. Great thing about being a kiwi fruit picker is you get to have loads of free kiwis because we always take home like the rejected kiwis or the kiwis that are just not the right size or shape or whatever. So yeah, I get to take home kiwis. I just got some like spinach leaves and kind of like a homemade vegan coleslaw, that kind of thing. So super simple, but yeah, that's my lunch for today and I'm just on my computer watching some YouTube. So right now I'm just doing a bit of meal prepping. Uh, so I'm just in the process of making just a ton of ready meals, like homemade meal preps that I'm gonna freeze. And I like to do this regularly because meal prepping's great because um, I work a lot at the minute, so it's nice to just be able to come home after work and have a meal that I can just throw in the microwave that I've made previously, so I know that it's healthy and wholesome food. And it's also good if I am like running late to work and I didn't have a chance to make lunch, I can just grab a ready meal, take it to work with me. So yeah, and also I find it's really cheap because I can make some really cheap meals with really cheap ingredients. 
uh, so I'm gonna get doing that now. So I've just pre-cut loads of onions, I've got some spinach, I've got some four bean mix and I'm just about to grab some frozen veg out of the freezer. So um, I get a lot of, I got a lot of people tell me that it's really expensive here in New Zealand to eat and stuff like for food and everything and I'm actually, I actually made a video today talking about New Zealand and whether I find it expensive or not because I was told when I first moved here that it's super pricey and actually I found that it's not that bad, but I think maybe I'm just really good at being cheap. Um, but yeah, so a good way for me to save money on food is I just buy all the like name brand frozen veg. Yeah, it's not the healthiest, but I mean, it's cheap, right? So <laughs> it's pretty much what I live on. Frozen veg, mushrooms, onions, and rice. <laughs> and here, this is where I keep my food. I've got like some sort of like chickpeas and split yellow split beans and stuff, which I got from a shop that was closing down. These were originally seven ninety nine dollars, and I got them for two dollars. <laughs> um, and you know, I buy things like uh, beans, baked beans. These are like super cheap. They're like less than a dollar. They're like 80, 80 cents or something. Tomatoes, like less than a dollar once again. So yeah, I just buy the. I buy the cheap stuff and it works. <laughs> so I've just cooked a ton of um, red lentils and yellow split beans together. I've got five ready meals made and I've also got a bowl of it, a dish of it here for me for dinner tonight. And I'm just finishing off the other bit which is in here. So in here I've got like tons of stuff like lots of frozen veg, green runner beans, um, got some, some gluten free soy sauce in there and onions and tons of other stuff, some spinach leaves and tomatoes and stuff. So just letting that all simmer. I've just finished all my meal preps. As you can see, I've got five of them there. Yeah, so there they are, all pre-made. So now I'm gonna stick these in the freezer. So after all the super healthy meal prepping, here's my dinner tonight. <laughs> Chips and vegetables with some ketchup. So not the healthiest at dinner, but at least I'm going to be eating pretty healthy for the rest of the week, I guess. Um, yeah, so now I'm finishing off editing the video, a video that I filmed with Kyle. If you haven't subscribed to Kyle's channel, it's called This Is Kyle's Life. I'll link it up here or in the description. I made a video with him because I met up with him while he was in Auckland because he was just on a working holiday visa here in New Zealand, but now he's gone to Canada. So yeah, it was nice to catch up with him because I've been following Kyle ever since he started the Digital Nomad journey. He started around the same time as me. <coughs> And uh, he was in Australia for a year while I was travelling Europe and now he is, yeah, um, he was in New Zealand and now he's in Canada. So, yeah, it was nice just that we were randomly in the same place pretty much at the same time. So we managed to meet up and I grabbed him for a video, which was awesome. So editing that now should be going up tonight, but obviously you've already seen it by this point. And so, yeah, I'll link it up here if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, so just editing that now and then I'll have a few more videos to edit tonight too. So today's been a real YouTube day, but that's what you do on your days off work, right? You make YouTube videos on the side, so yeah, uh, see how much stuff I can get ticked off my list today. I've been a bit lazy today, if I'm honest. I could have done so much more, but whatever. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay, so it's actually now like two or three weeks later from the last video I filmed that you've just watched. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, I got really busy. I'm working as a kiwi fruit picking out an orchard and I'm working like six days a week, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. So it's full on and I'm teaching in the evenings as well. So life has been a bit, bit full on with work. So I haven't really had anything to vlog. So, and I, for some reason, forgot to end this vlog that you're watching. So yeah, right now I'm going to loads of charity shops here in Taronga, New Zealand, and show you guys what you can buy from charity shops and what charity shops are like in the area. I realised, you know what, you can buy anything you need secondhand from a charity shop for like next to nothing. Um, so I am um, today, I'm heading to the Salvation Army shops and the charity shops and I'm setting my car out with a mattress and duvet and blankets and all the things my car's going to need when I go freedom camping and living in it at some point in the future. So let's just go and see what we find today.
Here we've got a, it's like a blanket, it's like a fleece. And this is, this is five dollars, that's like two pound fifty or something in British money. So I'm gonna grab this and look at this. This looks so warm. <laughs> and there's just tons, tons of, tons of options here. There's a sleeping bag here for ten dollars. So yeah, I don't think I'll go cold. <laughs> this throw here for five dollars. Okay, so we're at the Salvation Army shop here in Taronga. We're actually in a sub place called Bethlehem, which is near Tarico. Either way, yeah, so um, I'm finding mattresses for my car so that I can free them for my car at some point in the future. And I need to find things to put on the back to make a bed. So found myself some of this cool foam for three dollars, which is like one pound fifty. And another mattress for like a baby's cot, which is like four dollars. So this is gonna be my my bed, my temporary bed. Very nice. So yeah, all good. So now I've just gotta find myself a couple of pillows and some blankets and then I'm pretty set with my bed, so going good. Just found myself some foam pieces and some mattress for my bed and now I'm looking at lots of blankets and duvets and stuff for covers and there's some pillows and if you can see behind me there's tons of clothes here too so if you are worried about things being expensive here in New Zealand don't worry because there's tons of charity shops and secondhand shops and Salvation Army shops here where you can buy things super cheap so I'm just gonna find myself a blanket now. <laughs> so I'm now in my car and it's nicely set up I don't know if you can see but I have a couple of pillows here. I have a couple of pillows here that I bought for like $3.50. I have a fleece here that I bought for like $4. And all this is like, like $4 is like two pounds, okay? So this is super cheap. I've got a duvet and a duvet cover, which was like $7 or something. And I have a nice mattress here. <laughs> really cool mattress down here. Don't know if you can see some foam here. Got for less than $8 and on the back, I've got my other mattress, which I'm using as like a backrest right now, so it's like a sofa in here. But normally that, that will go down, that'll be my second mattress. When I go to sleep, the seats will go down full, and there'll be like a double bed on the back. Not bad, so I'll show you the setup. Okay. Um, and so I also grabbed myself a couple of these crates. These are like $2 each. I just grabbed a crate there which I've got another blanket in and some other shopping from today. And I've got another crate here which I just got some, obviously I, I just bought a bin for $1 and filled up with all the crap that was in the car. So I've got a bin, I've got another crate to put like food or clothes and stuff in. And So normally when I sleep these seats go fully down. This goes up, the seats go down and it'll be like a double bed in the back. So I'm really impressed with how I managed to Get out this car with a bed and blankets and everything for less than $35, which is awesome. Last thing I need now is just some curtains and then it's ready to sleep in. Obviously, um, there's a few other bits for me to get, like a, a cooker and pots and pans and plates and dishes and stuff. But I did buy myself some, I bought myself a couple of mugs today for like 50 cents. And I also got myself some knives and forks for like 20 cents each. So I bought like, I spent like a dollar on knives and forks and spoons. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is my car. It's a bit mucky because at the Kiwi Orchards it gets so dirty. Try not to show you my number plate. And Lucida, I think. This is after my friend Josh. <laughs> yeah, so this is my car. And It's still on the hunt for curtains. Here's those duvet sheets and curtains. When it comes time for me to have to get my car stocked up with like a couple of plates and bowls, I can come here and grab like bowls for like 50 cents. And that's pretty cool. <laughs> and glasses and stuff. I don't know if you can see, but the rain outside, it is pouring down. So. You can guarantee if it's rainy like this, we have a day off work because you can't kiwi pick when it's like this. So it's good we get a day off, but you can never do anything fun on your day off because it's always raining. <laughs> but we made up for it because when we first came here to Tauranga, the uh, kiwi season hadn't fully started yet. So we got tons of days off in the beautiful warm sun. So I guess it's not so bad, but pretty, pretty wet right now. So just went to the second Salvation Army shop and I found this, this big, um, mattress thing so now I have three mattresses for my car so I'm well and truly sorted in terms of like things to sleep on <laughs> when I go camping myself this top it's like, like I'll show you when we get in but it's like a white it's a really nice white top it was like four dollars and 
It reminds me of the one I had when I travelled for Europe. If you've seen my videos for the last year, you'll recognise what I mean. It's a really nice white top I had when I travelled Europe, but it got basically it just got old. I wore it like every day. So now I found another one, which is awesome. And I've managed to sort out the curtain situation. I found some of this fabric, which was only one dollar twenty, and I'm going to use this fabric to make curtains in the car because I think it's probably easier to do it like that. And I also grabbed this bag full of string and shoelaces which I'll use to tie up the fabric so fingers crossed I managed to make some curtains somehow out of all this stuff so yeah that's pretty much how my charity shop session has gone it's, it's been pretty good I also grabbed some ribbon as well to tie the curtains up with so yeah uh, let's head to some more charity shops <laughs> oh and I totally just forgot to mention that when we were in the charity shop Josh came across this tri tripod it was only four dollars and it's basically a tripod for my for my camera so now I have a tripod because I didn't bring my tripod with me because it was really big so now I've got a tripod here which is awesome because I've been balancing my camera on books and boxes and now I actually have a tripod for it so yeah all good okay now let's head to more charity shops Um, Gritton, which is where we stay, where we're living. We live in Gritton, which is a part of Tauranga. And it's still raining outside, and we're packed up and getting ready to go to more charity shops, so let's go. Okay, so I'm just in my car, and I've just been setting up a little curtain line all around my car. I don't know if you can see, it's quite dark in here, but I have a line up all around the inside of my car. And I was trying to basically um, tie curtains to the line. But then my housemate came up with a great idea of pegging curtains to the line. So I've got some fabric. I actually need to buy more fabric though. I just realised that I didn't buy enough. But yeah, so I've got this fabric which I'm going to use for curtains. And I'm going to just grab some pegs. And then when it comes to using the car and having curtains in it, I'll just peg the curtains to the line whenever I need to use curtains. So that I don't have to like worry about keeping them up permanently. So that's a really good idea. So glad my housemate came up with that idea. So... Yeah, I'm uh, pretty sorted. I'm probably just going to end this video here and edit it, um, but I will show you the top I got first today. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to head inside in a minute and take you with me, I guess. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know, it's been a pretty successful day of charity shopping. Um, as you can tell, here in New Zealand there's a ton of charity shops. I would have showed you more, but all the charity shops in Greerton um, that I normally go to to get my clothes from and stuff, uh, they are all closed today or they're closed early because it's a Saturday, so... Yeah, uh, <laughs> it's weird because the only days off I've had this week is Wednesday and it ended up being like a public holiday so we couldn't do anything because everything was closed and then today, and it's a Saturday and a lot of things closed here on Saturdays so like the banks, I was supposed to go to the bank today, that was closed a lot of the charity shops here in Greerton are closed so I haven't got as much achieved as I wanted to but I have had a nice day, I've had a pretty productive day I'll, I guess we'll go inside and I'll see you in a bit Back in my room now, this is the top I got today, I'm not sure if you can see it properly um, but it's kind of like a uh, white creamy lacy strappy top I don't know if you can see but it's like thin and creamy and yeah lacy I've just put a white top underneath it but I guess you could put any top any colour underneath it it'd look pretty cool so so I'm just gonna end this vlog here I hope it wasn't too long or too all over the place but yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing me getting some stuff for my car from charity shops today and just seeing me have a pretty nice day and yeah it's been nice to have a day off work and yeah, I didn't mind the rain. <laughs> if you're a kiwi fruit picker, rain's always, oh, it's always good in one respect because it gives you a day off. But then again, if you really need the money, it's bad. Um, thankfully, it's the only rainy day we've had this week, so it's not like it's jeopardised our work or money. It's just given us a day off, which has been nice because we needed it. Um, because if it's hot and sunny, there's work every day because we need to pick fruit. <laughs> so it was kind of nice to get a day off this week. So yeah, I'm just going to end this video here. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.